teams from the Triangle are heading to the national finals of the world's largest student rocketry competition. It's really cool, yeah. right? As CBS 17's Chloe Rafferty reports, one of the teams is brand new and only recently built their very first rocket. Three, two, one. The middle school rocketry team at the Triangle Math and Science Academy in Cary is soaring to new heights. I'm proud of all of us for like being able to work together and like achieve this. Eighth grader Pragna Surabatala created the team this school year after a visit to NASA inspired her to become an aerospace engineer. Because we all worked together and like, you know, did our best, we were able to achieve this thing that we didn't think we were going to achieve. The brand new team is one of three in the triangle heading to the national finals of the American Rocketry Challenge. It's the world's largest student rocketry competition. The other two teams are from the North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics in Durham. When we did get in, I was like, you know, really surprised because like it's our first time and like like there's a bunch of people who've been doing this for years. In the competition, the teams have to put a hen's egg in their rocket and blast it more than 800 feet in the air. The rocket will split in two and both parts need to land with parachutes. The twist is the egg must return to the ground without cracking. For me, like my in my opinion, the hen egg is the easiest part. The altitude and the time are like the more harder parts than the hen egg. Pragna says all of their practice launches have been successful. The team hopes to bring home at least one of the prizes up for grabs. A trophy, $100,000, an invitation to NASA student launch workshop, or an all-expense paid trip to the International Rocketry Challenge in Paris. We worked really hard to get here, and that, like, if you try your best, you can achieve whatever you want to do. The competition is scheduled for May 20th, just outside of Washington, D.C. To see which other schools across the state made it to the finals, look for this story on CBS17.com. Chloe Rafferty, CBS17 News.